All right, Holden Preservation FB219, episode eight. I'm going for it. Sunday Arvo, it's dry, the rust converter's dry. I'm gonna give it a scrubbity dub dub, front to finish with this stuff. And I'm gonna see how I'll go this afternoon. All right, so I'm gonna hit it and uh, make some few little videos on the way. Let's do this. All right, so a quick update, Scotch Bright Red. This is how the rust converters is quickly rubbing back, all right? Oh, look at that. Like that. Seriously, that is really basic, really simple. That all gloss, look at that. Done, scuffed up beautifully. This is gonna, this is gonna be a lot quicker than I thought. All right, so this uh, red Scotch Bright, is just smashing through this uh it's literally i've spent 15 minutes and i've done half and i'm already back way through here so this red scotch bright is just nailing this uh so well totally recommend that's the way to go there so look at that yeah you know, totally disgusted it up just like that move on to the next process all right all right so that took 30 minutes and it's a quick uh, scuff over with the the red scotch bright to, to scuff the um, uh, the Worth Rust Converter just to give it a dull finish. So that was 30 minutes, and um, now I'm just gonna wipe it over with acetone, and I'm going for the edge tonight. Woo! All right, so the wipe down with the acetone is all done. Uh, it's turned the scuff finish from being scuffed, and anything uh, I missed with the, the scourer, it's turned it dull. So I'm happy with this now, like it's gonna basically, I'm gonna hit this with the etch now, I'm gonna mask it up, hit it with the etch, and it's as good as it's gonna get. All right, so it's been a crazy hour and a half. I've uh, scuffed it, I've cleaned it down with acetone, and I've masked it up. So camera lady, just show the, the crazy little mask up. So I'm just shaking up the etch primer now, and uh, I'm gonna pop the lid off, and pour some, I'm just gonna go straight from the gun, because the, uh, I say 10%, you can maximum 10% thinners. I did it 10%, but then I was doing smaller batches and it became inconsistent. And then I did a straight out of the gun that turned out pretty good. So I'm just gonna go straight out of the gun. So uh, let's do this right now. That whole underbody, I reckon it will, yeah, at least need a whole, whole tin. So um, I'll just get the, uh, the here. And uh, so basically, I'm in double double time zone mode at the moment. Like I'm, I'm going hard, I've got my mask ready. So basically this is how they stop it. I'm driven out another lid, the little hole there. And um, yeah, that's what I've been doing to stop it from dripping down too much. So this might take a while, but uh, I'll get it filled up eventually. So I'll cut some of the video out if I have to. So it's not doing too bad. So I'm basically gonna fill this up because then I'm just gonna spray the whole underbody with this whole cut. And um, yeah, so it's been a pretty wicked day. I've got the, uh, the air regulator set to 25 PSI, which this gun is regulate, uh, recommended for. I'm about to hit the, um, the water trap, make sure there's no water in it. I've got two air compressors down the bottom, and um, I've got both of the uh, bottom water drain holes kind of cracked a bit, so there's got a bit of a leak in the air there, so if there's any air in the, uh, what do you call it, the, that, um, if there's any water in it, hopefully it's just blowing out as it goes. So, um, yeah, I'm just working double time at the moment. I'm a bit rushed. It's 4.30 on the Sunday Arvo. Camera lady, I'm going to put my mask on. I'm going to start spraying. When it gets too much for you, just end the video and get out, all right? So, all right, here we go. So, let's do this. Thank you. 
and I've had about 10 beers and a couple of Jack Daniels, so I'm right ready to go. Let's do this. Oh, shit. Okay, one more thing. This is in here. Little uh, water trap for the gun. I'm going a smaller fan so I can get in some corners first, then I'll, I'll widen the fan on the gun to get the bigger areas. So, that's how it's going to go. Wish me luck. So, I wasn't expecting to get this done, Savo, but I just thought, let's just get it done. So, uh, I've had the uh, first coat of etch, and I'm really excited, finally, after all these months, and months, and months of body work, and everything, it's like, uh, the Mustang tank, the repairs, the floor pans, everything that's gone into it, finally like covered in a bit of black so um it looks good I, I, i'm happy like so anyway so this is the first coat done and uh i'm gonna put the mask back on now and uh just give it a second blow over and then i'm calling it for a night so let's do it So, it's about 6 p.m. Sunday night. I wasn't expecting to get this done. My cat's happy with it, so that's the main thing. Um, yeah, got it fully in etch. Um, I got the first coat done. The second coat was more like a blowover coat, just to make sure it was all covered. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's starting to rocket along now. So, um, more than happy with how it's all going and uh, yeah, I was like, today I was like, uh, not really, what are you doing, mate? Not really even sure if I was going to get this done, but 
Sunday Arvo, all done, 10 hour job from nothing to, um, or not nothing, but the bare floor pan to the rust converter to uh, uh, etch back to, um, yeah, looking how it is, so here you go mate, there you go. But yeah, it's all done, stoked, absolutely stoked.